Basel Art Fair is probably one of the most important art fairs in the world. I think uh, the fact that Basel is here bringing along all the other galleries from across the globe to Asia and having a decent Asian representation makes this probably one of the most interesting fairs around. In the Encounter section of Art Basel, large-scale sculptures and installations from leading artists around the world were showcased. Cho Yu Cheng's installation was a massive sculptural work of tableware which linked to an app that served as a platform for cleaning services. At certain intervals, actors would step into the work to either join in with the cleaning or poetically recite a product description. This work, entitled Liminal's Air Space Time by Shinji Omaki, was another large-scale installation in the Encounters section of Art Basel. Using silky cloth as a medium, the work encouraged viewers to reflect on their perceptions of gravity and time. This was an incredibly contemplative piece that kept audiences entranced. This is the sixth year, sixth year of Art Basel Hong Kong, and when I visited the booths um, overall, I found that the galleries have truly brought really good works this year. So I think the visitors are getting really the best of Art Basel Hong Kong since six years ago. Um, and I think the standard of presentation, the choices of the works, and even the artists, Asian artists that who are active, have really kind of um, made such progress and development and such strong works. I was very, very happy. Erwin Worm's one-minute sculptures were our personal favourites. In these works, Worm selected a series of mundane everyday objects and placed them together with instructional drawings and texts to be performed by the public. The works completely depended on audience participation and the success of the sculptures was determined by how precisely his instructions were carried out. This installation stood out for its ability to interact with art fair audiences and to amp up the element of fun at the fair. In this day and age of social media, huge parts of our lives are on display for public consumption, a point which Erwin Worm alludes to quite humorously with this work. Uh, I think uh, Art Basel is actually fascinating and uh, fantastic, wide array of uh, galleries and art styles and also in terms of uh, teams and presentation, I think uh, I learn a lot, so I'm enjoying myself here. So there you have it folks, our rundown of one of Asia's landmark art fairs. What did we think? The fair featured 248 premier galleries from 32 countries and territories, as well as strong representation from Southeast Asian artists and galleries. It was everything we were promised and more. There was all the buzz, excitement, glitz and glamour that one would expect from the Art Basel brand. We can't wait to see what's in store for us next year. Mm -hmm.